So hello viewers, we're now going to discuss laws of logarithm. So we have three laws. So the first law is law of a product. So in this equation, we have logarithm of x times y to the base c. So we're just going to get the factors of product x and y because the bases are the same. So logarithm of x to the base c plus logarithm of y to the base c. So, now, let's write it with numbers. So, in this example, we have logarithm of 3 times 4 to the base 5. So, always remember that the logarithm of products of numbers is the sum of logarithm of numbers. So, logarithm of 3 times 4 to the base 5 is equal to logarithm of 3 to the base 5 plus logarithm of 4 to the base 5. Why? Because... We get, since the bases are the same, which are logarithm to the base 5, we just need to, to separate 3 and 4. So, logarithm of 3 to the base 5 plus logarithm of 4 to the base 5. So, let's move on to the example number 2, which is logarithm of 10 times x. So, let's expand the given logarithm of 10 times x. So, we will perform the product rule. So, we will have, it will become... Logarithm of 10 plus logarithm of x. Simply as that. So, in example number 3, we have logarithm of 4 to the base 2 plus logarithm of 3 to the base 2. So, in order to get this answer, we will have, um, so the bases are the same, right? Logarithm to the base 2. So, we, we will just multiply this 4 and 3. So, 4 times 4 times 3 will give us 12. So, since the bases are the same, we just need to write this. So, we have now logarithm of 12 to the base 2. So, this is the end of the logarithm of the product. Let's move on to the next law. I'm here to give you some information about the second loss of logarithm, which is logarithm of quotient. Logarithm of x over y to the base is equal to logarithm of x to the base minus logarithm of y to the base. Quotient rule are basically whatever in top of division going to subtract whatever in the bottom. And it's not the same thing in logarithm quantities x minus y. In logarithm of quotient, we, go, we can go subtraction to division, division to subtraction. And here are some examples so better you understand the loss of quotient. Example number one, the problem is logarithm of 9 to the base A minus logarithm of A to the base A. To get the answer, just copy the logarithm and the base. Because it's always the same. 9 and 8 will form into division. So, logarithm of 9 to the base A minus logarithm of 8 to the base A is equal to logarithm of 9 over 8 to the base A. The problem is logarithm of 3x minus 2 over 4 to the base 5. To get the answer, just copy the logarithm. 3x minus 2 will form and called as quantities. And the base 5 minus logarithm of 4 to the base 5. So, logarithm of 3x minus 2 over 4 to the base 5 is equal to logarithm of quantities 3x minus 2 to the base 5 minus logarithm of 4 to the base 5. So, that's it. If the given is subtraction, the answer will be in division. If the given is in division, the answer will be in subtraction. Hope you understand. Thanks for watching. God bless. So, hello everyone. We are now in logarithm of power. Let's learn to love logarithm. So, in example number one, we have logarithm of y, phase 3 to the phase 2. 
in order to find the answer, we, we just need to put the exponent before the law of So if we put it, we, we will get we know why. In example number two, we have to hit the mo e face the two to the face three. For example, number 3, we have 1 of logarithm of x plus 5. So, logarithm of x minus 3. The first law, we're just going to use of logarithm of power. Change. Change 1 of log x into 2 of logarithm. It will become No squared. Then it will be <coughs> will be operating up X minus three raised to five. So this this sign is this is the positive. Well, we are now going to use our rhythm of product. So the final answer will be. So thank you for watching our video. Hope you learned a lot in loss of logarithm. Thank you so much.